Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. We're in the first quarter play, and it's the Browns in control of the football. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at about the 32. From the gun, Mayfield. Throw left side, caught by the tight end to Joku. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all set and done. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. So in the Pats territory now, here's first and 10, right at the 40. Now the third leading rusher among rookies last year. It's Nick Chubb looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding him to no gain. The first carry now, this is Johnson. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Throwing. Mayfield. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game. Especially the opening drive because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them. And a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Gets this one to the tight end, Charles. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Mayfield. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking themselves and expressing. Let's keep the it. We're doing pretty well. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal.
I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see third-year quarterback Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans as they square off with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. With that, let's get up to Seattle. Standing by at CenturyLink Field, here are Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. With the beautiful Puget Sound just... the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Texans offense heading out, and it's Deshaun Watson leading the way, the third-year man out of Clemson. Last year, 26 touchdowns, nine interceptions, but the big number for the Texans, he was sacked a league-high 62 times. They'll try to do better in this one. Texas, Deontay Foreman, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Coach on the eastern edge of the D.C. metro area in Landover, Maryland. That's where we are situated at FedEx Field. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Green Bay Packers and the Washington Redskins. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 12. Yard line. The Packers take the field. Aaron Rodgers at the helm. 2019 marking his 12th season as the Packers starter. 15th season overall. Last year for Rodgers, 25 touchdown passes, just two interceptions. They'll go 
with their leading rusher from a season ago. This is Aaron Jones. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. It's tough to be an offensive lineman in Green Bay because their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, knows how to keep plays alive and often extends them for three, four, five, six seconds. But David Bakhtiari, his left tackle, he does it as well as anyone could ever expect. Excellent footwork. Knows that the plays are going to stay alive for a long time. Often they'll get two or three blocks on the same play. On second down now. It's Jones, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now third and long working from the gun Rogers and Adams has it complete and they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield that one good for 24 yards I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And left side here, it's Graham. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. First Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. It's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. Twelve more yards there and another first down. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounce it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually...
Welcome back, everybody, to FedEx Field just outside of our nation's capital. It's the Packers in possession of the football as we get back into the action in quarter number two. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. Throwing again. Rodgers looking middle, and it's incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. On third down, here's Jones. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what Fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. The Redskins have Greg Stroman back deep. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. A look at Washington. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. as a quarterback that the deflection if you miss might be bigger and lead to an interception yeah and the deflection works both ways maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well but a moot point there is they were able to connect throwing the out route incomplete that's Thompson now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Keenan. And Reed with it over the middle. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Clock running as the Redskins try to hurry up. Throwing again on second down. Keenum. And that will be incomplete. 
complete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Jordan Reed was the intended target, and it's third and five. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Again, Keenum. Out to the left here to Reed. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Trevor Davis, deep for Green Bay. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and ten. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. This one taken from the seven. Yeah, a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. A good starting spot for the Redskins as they come up first and ten. The third quarter starts with a run by Peterson. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Shotgun handoff to Thompson. Mike Daniels makes the tackle. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And they'll bootleg it here with Keenum. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Peterson. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on the edge. And when you have the guy in the back there, you can catch the ball. You don't just use your first game to check down to dump off. You make a hard run by right passing his tactics. What you're trying to do is get him in the middle of the field and let him make PP miss and advance the football line. Here's your 
Yeah. 